You don't have to be in Pinehurst very long to sense the tradition of fine golf. There are over 70 courses carved into the pine forest here. Every restaurant, every shop seems to cater to golfing tastes and memorabilia. Though well-developed as a resort, Pinehurst still maintains the charm of a country village. If ever there was a place for escape, Pinehurst is it. This is known as the Sandhills area, in the middle of North Carolina's heartland. The nickname is appropriate, since there's plenty of sand for plenty of bunkers. This is the Holly Inn, founded by Tufts when he opened the resort. It's only here through some serious local efforts at preservation. There's actually Holly out front. Down the road a little is the Pinecrest Inn. During tournaments in the 1960s, this is where the up and coming young names in golf, Palmer, Nicholas, Player, and so on, would come to unwind. Wherever you turn, there are tall, wonderful pine trees. The old fallen needles aren't cleared away. They're used as landscaping features. Yards and gardens include the pine needles as ground cover. That adds to the backwoods country atmosphere. In 1996, Pinehurst Village received national landmark status for its contribution to U.S. golf history. No other golf location has received such a designation. The Village Chapel is an outstanding feature. It's a non-denominational building featuring Catholic and Protestant services. The funeral for Donald Ross was held here. From Pinehurst number two, it's well in view and its steeple is actually used to line up play. The resort includes an imposing hotel. It was once called the Carolina, but now it's known as the Pinehurst Resort and Country Club. Comfortable, well-appointed, and yet traditional, the hotel is a wonderful part of the fine golf experience. The term golf heaven describes Pinehurst. It was here that golf took hold on the North American continent. There is plenty of tradition and plenty of challenge on these courses. There is plenty of fine golf here.